Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back with another home workout. You're not gonna need any equipment today, just a little bit of space on the floor. I mean, you can use a towel, a yoga mat, whatever it is, as long as you're comfortable. We're gonna be doing five exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, minute rest in the middle, and then we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna do two sets, I'm gonna be with you every single step of the way. So, if you've got a little bit of space, people have got a little bit more time on their hands, if we're social distancing and self-isolation, gyms are closing, and what a perfect place to work out other than, you know, you're at home. Nobody's there to see you, watch you, judge you, whatever it is, you can just do you, you can work out and feel good. It's gonna give you a bit of extra energy, and it's gonna help uplift the mood in these quite daunting and worrying times. So, but please do spread all the love and positivity that you can and help people out where you possibly can and be conscientious of other people when you're going shopping and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, let's get down to the workout and do it together. Okay. So this workout targets everything around the body. We're gonna start with some lunges, just alternating. Here we go. So lunge and back up. Lunge and back up. We're gonna just keep alternating legs. You can go as fast as you, if you want a bit of cardio, you can go a little bit faster. If you wanna just focus on the form, go a little bit slower and controlled as long as the form that you're doing is good. You can avoid injuries at all costs. Keep pushing. It's our first 40 second effort. And we're gonna have 20 seconds to rest after this. I'll be singing downstairs with my mum. And first 20 seconds rest. Ease you into it a little bit there with some lunges. So we're gonna step it up a little bit now. We're gonna do some speed skaters. Basically, you're gonna go from one leg and then you're gonna jump across the other side of your mat. As if you're speed skating on an ice rink. If that's a little bit difficult, you can step, lunge, step, lunge. But try and jump. Control, control. Control. So to keep pushing from one side of your mat to the other, this will get your heart rate up. You will feel the burn in your glutes, in your quads. Some of you might feel it in your hamstrings or in your calves. So just keep to a rhythm. Pace yourself to get to a point where you can just do these reps without thinking about it. Yes, it will be tough, but you can just keep pushing to the rhythm your own rhythm. And get ready to rest. Rest, 20 seconds. And then we're gonna be going into some press up rotations. So we're gonna press up, and then we're gonna rotate our body up. Press up, rotate our body the other way. Get ready, because we're about to go in for our second, third, 40 second effort. Here we go. Press up, rotate. Press up, rotate. If you're struggling to rotate, you can just press up, shoulder tap. Press up, shoulder tap. But if you can rotate, it's great for your core. You can work your obliques. You can work your shoulder stability. And of course your chest from the press ups themselves. Again, try and stick to a rhythm. For me it's like down, up, row, take. Down, up, row, take. 20 seconds rest. Coming your way right now. And the next thing we're gonna do, plank, side taps. So we're gonna go into a normal plank, our elbows, and we're gonna dip our hips either side. A little bit of a dance. You can feel it in your core, in your side. Here we go. So dip, dip, dip. Dip. Side to side. You'll feel it in your abs, you'll feel it in your shoulders, you'll feel it in your obliques. You might feel it a bit in your legs, trying to keep them straight. If you're struggling, you can come down onto your knees. But I encourage you to try and stay up on your toes. Here we go. Keep pushing, pushing. Nearly there. Again, keep going, and rest, Woo. okay, we're resting, 
And then we're going into our final exercise for today, tricep dips. So we're going to get onto your sofa, wherever you've got a chair, whatever you've got. Hands behind you, facing forward, legs out in front, and you're going to dip down and up. Okay, here we go. Down, up, down, up. Again, keep to a rhythm that works for you. Try and get as much range of motion as you can. Down, up, down, up. You'll feel a burn in your triceps. You might feel a bit of a stretch in the front of your shoulder, but just keep pushing. Down, up, 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 down, up. Keep pushing. We're nearly there. Breast. Woo! Okay, so that was your first set through. We're gonna have a little bit of a rest now for a minute. And then we're gonna do it all again. So if this is the first time that you're doing this workout, it might feel a little bit tough, it might be a bit sweaty, heart rate's gonna be up, you might be a bit out of breath. But you can measure your progress by each time you do this if you're able to find it easier, do more reps, go faster, whatever it is. The more times that you can do these little short and sharp workouts, it's gonna help you feel better in the long run. So I encourage you to share it with a friend. Go put it on your TV, FaceTime in, do workouts together, but not together. So you've got your phone set up on FaceTime, you can do a workout together, or you can just do it on your own. Nobody has to watch you, nobody has to know that you're even doing it. But I would love it if you could share me, share your videos and stuff with me using hashtag daily workout. Okay, we're gonna get ready to go round number two, and we're gonna start with our lunges. In three, two, one, go. Again, like before, go at your own pace, try and keep to a rhythm. If you can keep to a rhythm, your body kind of just does it for you, like up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, that's all right, <laughs> Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You just kind of make it a little bit like meditation then. It's just your body's doing it in the rhythm that you've told it to. And you just gotta keep going with it. You might burn your legs, but it'll be worth it. Breathing, maybe there. And rest. Okay, going in for our speed skaters. Again, if last time you were able to do this and put your foot down, that's fine. More like a curtsy lunge. Try and just keep your back foot off if you can't do, if you weren't able to jump. If you were able to jump, great. Go in again, some speed skaters. Three, two, one, let's go. 40 second effort. 40 seconds. Again, the more you put in, the more you get out. Try and keep that rhythm. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep pushing. These jumps. <laughs> These jumps. Get your heart rate up. A bit of cardio as well as building strength in your leg. And rest. Okay, next thing we're going back to is the press up rotation. Ooh, here we go. Are you ready? Got 10 seconds left of your rest. We're going to press up. Rotate, again, if you can't do the rotation, tap the shoulder. If you find it hard to do it with a straight arm, come up and rotate with a bent arm. Here we go. So down, up, rotate. That's the hardest one. You can do this, which is the intermediate, or you can do beginner, taps. Okay, here we go. Again, straight arm, or bent arm, or tap. And again, you can do all those modifications on your knees. Just try and keep moving for these 40 seconds. If you need to slow down, slow down, but just try and keep moving. Only 40 second efforts, you have 20 seconds to rest, and you're only gonna be doing 10 minutes of exercise total. But you can do it. And rest. Woo. We're nearly through it, guys. We have got our plank side tapped. So we're gonna be on our elbows, and we're gonna be tapping side to side. Again, try and keep a rhythm. It's all about preparing your breath, making sure you keep breathing, and 
Exhale, get that oxygen inside your body. Here we go. Side to side, side to side. Go. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep it going. Move with it. Nearly through. Again, if you need to go onto your knees to modify, do so. And rest. And we've got our tricep dips to finish. So again, we're going back onto our sofa or chair, whatever you've got. And we're going to finish off our arms with some tricep dips. So, big deep breath before we go. Deep breath in. Out. And off we go. 40 seconds until we are done. So we're just going to keep pushing those last 40 seconds. Get everything out of it that you can. And then you can come back tomorrow with another workout. If you feel like you can do another workout after this, there's plenty more on my channel to go and do. But keep pushing with this one for now. Push through. Keep pushing. Push. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. We're nearly there. Three, two, one. Oh, we're done. That was our home workout. 10 minutes effort. And for me, I thought that was pretty good. We could target so many different areas of our body. We got some core, we got some obliques, we got our chest, arms, we got our legs. So if you like those workouts, be sure to subscribe to my channel because there's going to be lots more workouts coming for you to do at home with your friends, family, not together, but in isolation, maybe on FaceTime. Try and take the self or the social distancing as seriously as you possibly can because we need to try and stop this as fast as we can. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the workout. Make sure you share it with your friends and I'll see you next time. Peace, love, and make sure you're looking out for your neighbour because everybody needs to come together at this time.